you play General Shao in Mortal Kombat 1, well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into these cameos. First choice for General Shao is actually Sonya Blade as a cameo and the reason why is she allows awesome air combo continuation, which Shao can really benefit off of. It allows that time for Shao to drop before your opponent does and continue the combo however you want to, to lead into a brutality or something like that. I just find Sonya Blade's ability to help you in the air is a little bit more reliable than Shao's one, two, two in the air. So that pops your opponent up, sure, the timing on that can be just a bit tighter than just using Sonya to help expand that timing window to allow you to continue the combo. Just makes it easier. Plus, Sonya gives Shao a projectile, which, as we all know, General Shao lacks in that department, so using Sonya to give yourself a projectile as like a just-in-case is very nice when playing Shao. Plus, who doesn't want extra combo continuation? General Shao just really benefits off of all the tools that Sonya offers as a cameo. My next option for a cameo for General Shao is actually gonna be Kung Lao, and the reason why, kind of the same with Sonya, we get an awesome projectile and it's low hitting. So again, giving General Shao some form of projectile is almost necessary because he has none. I mean, we have our down back four, and that's cool, but it's not really projectile, right? Plus, a lot of opponents, you know, might want to zone you out because you are a heavy hitter, and Kung Lao gives you that ability to teleport and just get right in your opponent's face. And having that mobility option is huge when playing Shao. And again, having that combo continuation asset is freaking awesome. Kind of the same with Sonya. Shao just really benefits off of all the tools that Kung Lao offers as a cameo. And my next choice for a cameo for Shao is going to be Frost. And yeah, I know, I know, always having a low freeze is a great option for combo continuation. Of course, you can use that in combos as well. But the biggest reason why I love using Frost with Shao is because the Frost Orb is actually a huge tool when playing Shao. And you might be asking, well, how is he any different than any other character? Well, Shao is one of the very few characters that actually has a move that puts the opponent on the other side of you. So you can essentially throw your opponent inside the orb. And here's what I mean. Without our axe, our back one, as you see, that literally launches our opponent on the other side of us. So if you throw out the orb, you can rush your opponent and then literally put them inside the orb and continue the combo from there. Because a lot of times if you just throw the orb out there, you know, you're kind of following the orb with it and they're just gonna block one way. But having that ability to just toss them inside the orb is just freaking awesome, dude. These are just my cameo recommendations when it comes to General Shao in Mortal Kombat 1. Guys, let me know down below who do you pair up with Shao and why. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.